Welcome, plungers. Thanks for tapping in. Well, there's a new contender. There's definitely a new contender. After race, after race, after race, after race, and giving, like, because I saw this car's potential. I saw the potential there. And continuing to get better and better and better. This car, this old 1991 Jaguar Sport XJR15, phenomenal car. I'm at a loss for words. Like I went through all the cars. I thought I did, and I might have preemptively have given the McLaren the crown when this Jaguar might have it. So right now, here, live, with you guys, what I'm gonna do is do the race and give it a couple more tries. Because when I tell you, like, and as, and as you just saw, this car is, I don't know, man. I'm thinking with a, a super clean run because again, the McLaren run wasn't super clean, but I'm thinking with a super clean run, this car is possible. I think this might be the best hyper car in the game, as you may or may not know, but there is no rewind in this race, so I have to do it clean straight through. I guess that's, I could probably get a more scientific analysis if I did allow the rewind and I could continually do the turns over and over again, but that wouldn't feel like a real test of the car, you know? So I gotta, I've gotta do each race until I could get it perfect. And again, the more I do it, the better I, I can do it. I think I slowed down a little bit too much right there, but I'm hitting 164 on that. Two, 220 plus. Let's see if I can make this turn. I got it, 226. Concentration activated. Come on, 180 around that turn. Oh, I missed it. I missed it, I missed it, all right. This is why I'm, I'm seeing extremely high numbers in those turns. If you watched that episode where I introduced this race, you'd know what I was talking about. Okay, we'll go through it again. We'll go through it again. All right. So out the gate, right? You should be hitting like 180 by this gate right here. And if and if this turn, see that turn, you should be doing no less than 160. If you're doing less than 160 coming out of that, coming into that turn, it's not going to be a good lap. So let's 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 do it again, right? Gearing, let's just get the right gears. A lot of things to think about. Okay, a little bit too fast, a little bit too fast. Come on, we got it, we got it, we got it. I did so good the last race. Now that I'm trying to talk through it, it's a little hard, so let's go. We got it. Gearing, 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 let's go. All right, 180 by here. And for this, you want to, yeah, there we go, there we go. And here, like I said, 200 by that gate, I was doing 213. And remember, this car does, this car does not have the top speed of the McLaren. So I'm figuring like, Right here, I, I didn't want to go that wide. I want to shorten the track as much as possible. So I try, I'm trying to stay on the inside here and try to catch this turn on the inside. But 277, 
isn't bad. The McLaren does 280 something. Oh, that's a little bit of a slowdown that I didn't want. Yeah, it didn't slow down to the 60s here. Almost 170 on that one. Oh my god, 235. Let's go. Two eighty six on that turn is what I saw. I think I, I mean, I'm faster than normal. I was doing a, well over two hundred, not well over, about two oh five around that turn. Like I said, and through this, you want to be like two, and I'm talking McLaren numbers. Two sixty is what I saw. Now remember, if your car can't do this turn flat out, it's not going to make it. I'm doing that turn at 260. Coming down this hill, 271. And crossing the line at 239. That's a little bit slow for a finish line. 238. With mistakes. I think we could beat that. We're gonna try to beat it right now. If I can't, then this car has gotta take an honorable second place, but I am saying, what an amazing car that, that was just sitting there. Not the best, not the best, not the best start. Let's see if I can make up some time shortening the track. Let's try to keep this turn as on the inside as possible. There we go. On the inside, but we're weaving, we're weaving. Trying to keep it steady. Hey, over the hill. Let's cut this corner off. Straight to the finish. Well, straight to the turn. Yeah, slow down too much. Took it too wide. But I'm still crossing that at 160, 260, or whatever word it was, 160, 247 around that. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's not good, that's not good. All right, one more time, one more time. This is the last try, and then we'll have to call it. I want this car to beat the McLaren, but like if I give the McLaren the equal shot, like I don't think the McLaren will lose, but. I might have been wrong again though. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. This might be the run we're looking for. I came out of that entrance crazy. Let's cut it off without getting too reckless. Come 
come on. Yeah, concentration activated, guys. Concentration activated. You're gonna have to really activate it now for this turn. So let's go, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I think I hit that one perfect. Yeah, got it, got it. Yep. We're getting... Nah, we've hit that corner faster. And we've hit that corner faster. Like, barring a perfect run. Flat out was flat out. I'm still flat out. Maybe if I could catch this turn at the end better. One fifty four through that finish line. Two thirty eight again. <laughs> this is two thirty eight again. All right. All right. All right. The McLaren is the better car. I tried for the Jaguar. You know, I really tried for the Jaguar. Should we go and give the McLaren a quick run? Let's just go give the McLaren a quick run and see what the McLaren does. Okay, because look, it, it's up there. It's clearly up there. Oh yeah, and I just bought this anniversary edition Viper GTS uh, for $20 million the other day. No regrets, no regrets. That was a good purchase, but let's go, let's go see what this McLaren can do. Let's see if we're really fooling ourselves. Cause now we've had some practice. We've been around the track a few times. So let's see what the McLaren can do. I mean, if it easily beats the 238, then okay, we, McLaren is the best one. But I'm saying, that's the closest that I got to it. Like I said, a sub 240 is elite. And there's only a handful of cars that have ever done it, period. To sub 239, is, come on, that's crazy. But let's try the McLaren. Let's forget about some of my rules, because you see, I was coming out of that turn doing 140. And this one here beats it in the top speed. By a good bit. By a good bit. You can see on the straightaway. Eh. About four or five miles per hour faster on the streets. That's all I'm saying, man. That, the car is really good. Okay. I saw 273 across that line. Okay, I see 233 around that corner. Okay, well, 
I don't even think it's necessary to restart the racing some of these numbers, but I'm gonna do it just for the sake of catching that first turn in. Because I was doing 200 by the time I hit the gate where I said you're supposed to be doing 180. Look at this. I'm already at 200 there. Yeah, coming out of there doing 220 at that gate. All right. All right. There's a reason the McLaren is doing it. But I'm saying that Jaguar is incredible. The Jaguar is, is really incredible. Deal with that. Because this is $15 million. And if you're racing, like racing, racing, like if it was me against the Jaguar, put it this way, somebody, I, I'd drive the Jaguar and I'd put somebody else in this car and I'd confidently race this car. If it came down to just my skills, yeah, this is doing a much tighter 80 miles an hour. Hit 170 at that turn. Concentration activated. 176 I saw. One ninety-six, I think. So the Jaguar was doing its thing fizzle too here. Okay, that was faster. That was faster. I'm just going to I'm just going to fast forward to the end of a clean race. How about that? <laughs> Cuz I'm just going to keep restarting. And that'll make this video last forever. So I don't want to do that. So I'll just post the time or the finish to end the clean race. No matter how much I tried, I could not beat this car today, which is exactly what I'm saying. Even though with that McLaren, I got um, 234, that was after, I'm telling you, I gave every car on this list a fair shot, except this one. This one ducked under my radar, but up, up until that McLaren, I gave every car on this list a fair shot. When I say fair shot, I mean that perfect, perfect race. So that McLaren got that perfect, perfect race. The conditions under which that I got that, you, you saw the race. The conditions under which that I got that time. The difficulty how hard it was to get it. And you saw exactly how many times it took me to get the 238 on this car. No more, no less. I wasn't trying more in the background. I, I gave it to you guys the exact amount of times. I think six times. Give me the 70 times that it took me in the McLaren. Because I just got obsessive. I just kept beating the time by a, a tenth of a second every time. And I just kept going until I finally got to that time. But if I obsessively go with this one, I think I could beat it. And that's why today, this Jaguar wins the award of the best car in the game. Now I'm still testing, there's still other cars. But for now, this bad boy right here is the bee's knees. Thanks for watching, peace.